Sorry, Spencer. I cannot help you. Oh, come on, Lassie. I helped save your wedding. Just give me one for old time's sake. No, no, you listen to me. Trout going 5150 was the stroke of luck I needed to get me out of those horrible blues and back on a homicide, and I'm not going to jeopardize that by hiring your slacker ass. No offense. Please give me some money! Can't you just leech it off of Juliet? She's used to it. She's in Florida, visiting her aunt or someone she's related to. Besides, I am not a leech. All right, look, I gotta go. I got a case. Great, I'll meet you there. No, 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 no. You will not. All right, besides, it's a suicide. There's nothing for you to solve. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sensing that it's not. You need me, man. You need me back. Hello? Is that a fake hang-up? You doing a bit? Damn it. <sighs> oh, sh Dude, this is a huge case. Finally, I got it off the police scanner. Would you please stop pretending to work? I'm not pretending, Sean. The target list from the last few cycles got all screwed up. Nobody cares about the words that you're saying. Lassie needs us. I'm working for the weekend, Sean. Well, Gus. Man, I'll give you 30 minutes. <sighs> you rode your motorcycle here? No. Which of my big boy words did you not understand when I said, do not come here? I didn't understand any of them. You're wrong about this. The murder vibe is strong, and I'm sensing billable hours. All right, jackass. You want to see what a textbook suicide looks like? Feast your eyes. <laughs> this looks like my place. Huh. Same color palette, same fixtures. I have that sofa, that rug, too. Dude, that's the hush that I ordered. OK, guys. Meet the late John Russell. Age 35. According to his business card, he worked a dead-end job as a sales rep at someplace called California Coast Insurance. By all appearances, he lived alone. Oh, my goodness. No sign of forced entry, no sign of a struggle, no sign of a significant other in his life. Empty pill bottle near his hand. The brother didn't even have a cat. Well, I will admit that as far as murders go, this feels subtle. Gus? Gus. What? You all right up there? Yes, you are. trophy for sixth place. I got sixth place once. It's a hard thing to do. Two, three, four, five other guys suddenly get hot with the ball, and there you are, sixth place. Does that make me a bad bowler, does it? John Russell. Russ. This guy was as average as they come. A faceless cog who finally realized that life wasn't going to get any better. So what's the point? I think we're safe to call this one a suicide. No, no. This was a good man who lived a rich, proper, and full life. A man who had it all. Come here. Do the thing you do and say it's murder. Because nobody wants this to be murder more than I do, but check it out. Tell them it's murder, Sean. No, no, tell them it's murder. <laughs> This man was a responsible citizen of the world, and he did not go out like this. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that I've been murdered. And by that, obviously, I mean I've been murdered. You said I've again. I know. Are you sure about that? 